e-commerce is huge. How huge? About $2 trillion a year huge, and it's only going to get bigger. So if you've made a decision to get a slice of the action, that's a wise choice. And once you've decided which e-commerce platform you're going to run, your next decision is how to accept online payments. So in this video, I'm going to explain the different options for accepting online payments, how much you can expect to pay to process online payments. I'll show you why you always need a fallback plan in place. And I'll give you my recommendations for the best way for accepting online payments. Sound like a plan? Come on then, let's get started. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickleWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online get found and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes and my businesses have sold millions of pounds worth of online services so I've got plenty of experience when it comes to accepting online payments. So traditionally to accept online payments you've needed two things. First you'll need a merchant account from your bank. Then you'll need a front-end payment gateway service. The merchant account, that's just basically a type of bank account that lets your business accept debit and credit card payments. The payment gateway, that's just basically the front end that integrates with your website and links back to your merchant account. In terms of payment gateway, there are plenty of options out there, things like WorldPay or SagePay, and in fact some of them even come with a merchant account fully integrated in there, so you can kind of keep it all under one roof. They'll also store sensitive card details on their systems so that you haven't got to have the risk of storing them yourself. So the way that they work is they just charge a small percentage on each transaction that comes through your account and some of them will charge a monthly fee for their service. But there's loads of options out there so it's worth shopping around. But overall you're going to be paying somewhere between 1.5% to 3.5% per transaction uh, plus any monthly fees that they charge. So regardless of which service you choose, you're just going to need to factor these costs in. And really, it's just the price of doing business online. So when you make an application for your account, you're going to have to include some projections for sales, as well as any details of directors or major shareholders in the business. Then you're just going to have to sit tight for a few weeks while their underwriting team verify your application and just consider the risks. And at the end of this, they're either going to approve or decline your application. Now that's a really important point, so I'm going to repeat it. They have the ability to reject your application, so don't consider it a foregone conclusion that you're going to be approved either for the merchant account or for the payment gateway. And I'm bringing this to your attention because the last thing that you want to happen is to get everything ready, you're ready for launch, you're just about to get your new online store online, and then at the last minute you can't accept payments. Imagine how you'd feel if that happened. <sighs> so here are some alternatives for you to consider. Let's start with PayPal. Now, whichever payment solution you eventually choose, I always recommend to give your customers the option to pay with PayPal. Why? Because some people just prefer to pay with PayPal. Also, PayPal allows people to make payments with debit or credit cards even if they haven't got a PayPal account. The beauty of PayPal is that it's quick and easy to get started. Sure, there are checks that you need to go through, they want to verify your business, verify your details, but it's pretty quick and easy. Another service we'd recommend is Stripe for accepting card payments online. As with PayPal, the application process is quick and straightforward and you can integrate it with your e-commerce store very quickly. Now they do have certain business sectors that they won't work with, so do check these before applying. But the great thing about Stripe is there's no waiting about for weeks or anything like that to get approved. The Stripe interface, it's really slick, it's very easy to navigate, and it's got a ton of features to help you sell more. Things like recurring payments, so your, car, your customer's card details are stored on their systems, so they don't have to keep re-entering them each time they want to make a purchase. Their charges are very reasonable, and they're certainly not excessive. So there you go, that's how you accept online payments. Okay, so do you run an e-commerce store? Are you thinking of getting started? If you do, leave me a comment below and let me know which option works for you. I'd really appreciate it. I do read them and I will get back to you. If you found this video useful and you want more hints and tips to help you grow your business, then check out our free book, The Website Survival Kit. As I say, it's absolutely free. There's a link below this video and it includes a step-by-step -step plan to help you grow your online business. 
And if you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now and share it with your friends or anyone who you know who's thinking of selling online. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.